Hey, welcome back to One Shot. Today, we are back in the city. And, uh, yeah, we're in part three of Run Through 2. Can't go up to the side quest this time. That's okay, we don't have the seed. Um, robot is covered in squares. Everything is covered in squares. Come on! Come on! Work already! Huh? Alright, the elevator guy. What's up, lamplighter? Come on! Come on! Now of all times! Uh, excuse me! Whoa! You're you! Oh, jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into... The elevator is missing a button, right? How did you know? Chris and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me. But I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. The evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments. The square stuff wrecked the place yesterday. Oh. Right now, everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. You had situations like this before? I see. Wait, didn't we find the magnets and stuff in the apartments, Chris? The what? Looks like we'll have to find some other way to fix the button, Chris. Holy fudge! Looks like Chris and I will need to find another way down altogether. But this is the only elevator in the area. We'll think of something. Yep, can we not go? Is this a, a sleep room? Yeah. I'm guessing we won't get a dream from that one. It'd just be a hassle to close the game and open it again. This music is different. What's up, girl? Oh! Uh, hello, Messiah. You, um... You came at a bad time. The apartment of West Sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, but at least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're letting them stay here for now. Oh, it's that penguin. Hello. Yep. Still says nothing. Same as usual, huh? Eat all the coffee grounds? Dang it! I just moved into my apartment. Now where am I gonna go? Squares make the people evacuate. Evacuation makes the girls sad. Squares are bad. I mean... Real talk, not everything that makes you sad is bad. My apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I am waiting for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Hey! Hi! Is it me, or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you mention it, it is really chilly this time around, Chris. Good thing you've got a scarf, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, what voice did I give the pothead? <laughs> I just... I didn't mean to call him that. Bummer. I had to leave most of my plants behind. This stinks. Sorry to hear. Oh, speaking of plants, 
I heard the Glen is just covered in vines now. Is that true? Yeah. A plant lady was using them to keep the land from falling away. The plant spirit, Maisie? I figured. Say, how is she doing? Uh, she's gone, isn't she? She said she was using up the last of her powers. I wouldn't be surprised. She always did her best to protect everyone. Oh man, this music is so good! Milk and sugar? I like both, but not in coffee, because I'm too little to drink coffee. The coffee machine is nearly full! Coffee for everyone to stay awake during the end of the world. <laughs> this way, a clock guy. Oh, this music is so good. Are you the one with the room? Here we are at the 11th hour. That was not regular enough to be clocked. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything ends. Is this it? Computer's off. Entity's not talking to us. Ah, oh, there we go. See, uh, I'm just gonna check up here. I'm not gonna walk around up here. I just wanna look. Looks the same as before. So this world has a doomsday clock too. The door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. Where are documents is on the screen above the password prompt. Okay, I'm gonna look in the documents, find that password. Okay, I put in solstice and uh, it made a confirmation noise. This one is green! This one's red! This one's blue! That's nice for colorblind people. Um, I can see the colors just fine. But yeah, if a color that's really nice that they did that, because then if a colorblind person plays a game... Looks like it's stuck on another floor. Then they'll be able to solve this puzzle too, without having to look anything up. The elevator has no button panel. Tapping the door doesn't open it either. That usually works. Wait, there's a lever hanging from the ceiling. Can't reach it. Can you reach it if you try with this? No. Wait, what was the last thing you said? Might need a grown up for this. Okay. Uh, first thought is lamp guy. We found some elevators. What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh. Do they, uh, work? We don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait, you can help us. What? You should be able to reach the lever, cause you're taller than me. Oh, I guess I am. So show me the way, I suppose. Uh huh. Oh, let's go to the cafe first.
At least people won't starve here. The perks of using a cafe in a sort of emergency shelter, huh? Okay, so nobody at the cafe noticed him and he didn't comment on anybody else. So we're just going straight back to the elevator. So that he can use his his long legs and long arms and uh body of lankiness to grab this this switch. You teleported you think you're not smart, but you can teleport. That's something very special, and you should feel special about yourself. This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yep. So, um, what did you need help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. Wait. I'm not that tall. Well, it was worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Nice! Thank you, mister. No prob, kid. So, you coming? Uh-huh. Oh! Neat! Well, looks like this elevator works alright. I'll uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Uh huh. Uh, what is going on? No! It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. Hold on, maybe Chris and I can. No, it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yep. You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. But what about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. And now we're by the tower. Were those doors there the whole time? Or did it? I guess they are. Let's see if this elevator works. It does. Hmm, whole shaft is bad. Um, yeah, so I could just go straight down, but I'll talk to some of the cafe people again. So, can I get you anything to eat? No, thank you. Even though I could go for some pancakes right now. There just isn't time. So, I'm gonna guess that that I can't, like, take anybody down the elevator. I don't know what I'm gonna do without Model CWT 2nd Gen Unit 4E. Oh, I bet what I'm gonna need to come back up here for is this light puzzle. Or maybe to look at it red, no, green, red, blue, and the center is purple. GRB. Gamma Ray Burst. I can remember that. Please, you mustn't! The labs could collapse any moment now! Let go of me! Edric He I couldn't stop him uh, Miss Messiah Oh, you came at an awful time Come on, we have to get out of here Where to? Where everyone else is right now Hello, Miss Silverpoint. I'm glad you've made it back safely. Okay, so she is 
Kip Silverpoint. And the robot's just silver? I'm so confused. I think I might be getting it. Gosh, you should have told me where you were going. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> That's not Nico. <clears throat> Sorry, George. I see you also found the Messiah. Hello, little one. Hi. We ran into each other after this boy forced himself into a lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Building a robot, you say? Could that be why he needed that book? Coming in? Ah, a young man with white hair and green glasses ran in earlier. That's Cedric, yeah. He said he really needed a book from the back room and said it was an emergency, too. Poor darling. Looks so stressed out, so I just gave him the book. I hope he's safe. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to... Oh my gosh! It... That was... The labs! That poor kid! No! Not him too! I'm... I'm sorry about your friend. The last time we spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I need to get going. Sweetie, you know we can't let you just walk into danger. But... George is right. The squares seem to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. Only the library has enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best if you stayed here until things stabilize. However long that takes. But, but, what about my mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? Even if you do restore the sun, I'm not sure that'll fix the squares. Sadly. Not to mention, ever, even getting there is going to be hard. If the world is like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And if anything bad happened to the Messiah of all people, oh, that would be so dreadful, dear. Uh, a friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking, but now I am starting to understand. Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time we've burdened you with our hope, our faith. Blissfully ignoring the fact that you're just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We have been dealing with tragedy for so long it's become background noise to us now. But for you, it might be so terrifying. And now you're stuck here with the rest of us, being held back by the very people you were told to save. We must seem so ungrateful. It's okay. I... When I first came to this world a long time ago, back then all I wanted was to go home. Chris, do you remember? The very first time? I'm not sure how far back it was for you, but I remember toward the end, I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. So when you told me to return to Sun back then, I didn't even question it. But then I just came back. You what? And then I found out about the world being like this. Uh, Prototype said to forget the things he told me. And Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but 
I... I'm sorry for getting upset at you back at the mines. Aw, it's okay, Nico. I understand. I understood back then, too. I never doubted you, and I never felt bad about you. I never felt resentful to you or anything. I forgave you before you even felt bad toward me. I thought for you to know all that, yet continue doing this. It just seemed cruel. But then I realized something. You really wanted to save both the world and me. But in the end, you can only choose one, right? Is it really hard for you to? It must be. If the world isn't broken, will that choice still be there? Do you still need to choose between one or the other? But even if it is, I really want to save this world, Chris. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if so many of the nice people we meet were... Were... Chris, I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs> That's why I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Please. Aw, oh, sweetie. You are so brave, even braver than most grown-ups. It wouldn't be right for you, us to keep you, would it? Besides, how can I say no to those puppy dog eyes? You mean kitty cat eyes? <laughs> well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise you'll be careful, okay? Uh-huh. You guys be safe, too. 